In this video, I'm going to go through a couple of things about your Facebook page. So if I've set up your Facebook page or somebody else has uh, set up your Facebook page, then you're going to want to go to the link that they send you and click the like button. After you've clicked the like button, they can send you a request for a, uh, something that will allow you to edit it. You will get a message up here and you'll have to click on it and re accept that invitation to manage the page. Once you can manage the page, you have lots of different things you can do. It's just like your regular Facebook profile, but the difference is, is people don't have to request to be your friend. They can simply like your page and then they'll be following you. Additionally, you have different tabs that you can put up and put information in like about services, reviews, reviews is where people will review you, and then there's more. You can also have, you have photos, likes, videos, and you can manage your tabs here. To manage your tabs, you just click manage tabs and you can move things around so that um, people can see the different things that you do. So for instance, if I wanted about to be down further, if I wanted photos to be up here, I could put photos up there. I could also move reviews up here, or I could move services. So it's up to you how you want this to be. Now, if you want to upload a photo for your profile photo, you can click here, add photo, and take a photo or upload. If you want to change your cover photo, you can click here and upload a photo there. Up here, you're going to find some important tabs to manage your site. Um, you have messages here. If people send you a message, this is where you'll find those messages. Notifications from Facebook, if you have any notifications. Uh, you can invite your friends to like this page as well by typing in their names here. They should all show up there. You can click on See All Friends here, and it will show you them all, and you can one by one invite them. If you go to Insights, it'll show you some information about your page, how many likes you have each week. This just kind of gives you some idea of what kind of action you're getting. And then you have publishing tools as well. Um, if you want to schedule a post to be done, it's a really great idea to even out your posts and schedule them. You can schedule different posts, you can write drafts, um, you can do a video library, different things like that. So, for instance, to schedule a post, you can come here, create the post and write it, add a photo, whatever it is, and hit schedule. When you hit schedule, you're going to tell it what date and what time, and it will automatically schedule that post to post for you. It's a good idea maybe once a week to come in here and schedule a, several posts for every day. That way you have different things going out, and it will automatically post your page, and it manages itself. Let's go back to page real quick. Once you're on your page, um, you have different things. You have your about here. You can add your hours here, you can add price range here, and you can add your website here. Um, they have tips on the left hand side. You can create an album. So if you want to add, upload different photos, I would create a specific album by clicking here, add the photos, and then give it a name. And use your albums wisely. Make sure you use them to promote specific things. So for instance, if it's um, Things that are for sale, you make a for sale. If you make, if you have a sold, you have a sold. If it's manicures, it's manicures. If it's pedicures, it's pedicures. Things like that. If you have events, um, you put here. Visitors posts. Um, you ignore that for right now. And then now here's one of the most important things: settings. So go to settings, and this is all of the the information to manage your page. So you've already added it to your favorites. If not, you want to click here so that on your personal. Facebook, your page will show up over here, and you can get to it quickly if you want to edit it. Um, it's already published. This is kind of your privacy visitor posts. We have it set so that anybody can publish posts to your page. They can tag you, they can say they were there, things like that. So we want to, or you can click on review posts by other people before they're published. So you can change it there. Um, you can narrow the potential audience. So for instance, if you want to um, make it so that when you create a post, you can choose which people see it in the newsfeed by selecting your audience's in interest, gender, age, and more. You can also have the option to control who sees the post on your page's timeline by limiting the audience by location and language. So those are good things. 
message. Uh, you want people to be able to contact your page privately, so that's on. Uh, only people who help manage my page can tag photos posted on it. So you only want people to be able to tag the photos that manage the page. That's kind of a privacy issue. So um, I would make sure you leave that on. Uh, you want people to be able to tag your page because you want them to check in and say they were there and mention you in posts and things like that. So that's good. You don't really want any age or country restrictions. Um, no words are being blocked from the page. You can, if you want, for instance, add, and I'm going to go ahead and type some bad words here, shit, um, things like that. So we can definitely block some words here. So if you want to do that, you can block in words by um, cutting down on inappropriate content and spam. So if they do it, this is definitely something that you want to um, put on here. So uh, profanity filter, we're going to turn this on or we'll put it on medium. You can set that however you want. Uh, choose whether your page is recommended to others. Yes, we want this on. We want people that go to other pages uh, to go ahead and also um, have your page show up. Uh, we don't, you may or may not want to post in multiple languages. You can edit this yourself. Um, you can change that as you want. Comment ranking, um, most recent comments are shown by default. You download the pages as if you ever want to download all the duplicate, um, merge duplicate pages as if you had two of them, which you don't, um, and if you ever want to delete your page. Now, some other things over here. Um, you also have your messaging over here. You have some general settings. Just read them to go through them. Post attribution. Um, you're going to post, uh, this is me editing, so you're going to, when you come here, make sure it says post as you and that way um, you're posting as your page, posting as the page. This is the first one. Uh, notifications. When somebody mentions the page, you may want to turn these on or off based on what, uh, so you get notifications. You can also get one notification every 12 to 24 hours as well, which is nicer, but it may be somebody makes a comment or new comments and you want to respond quickly. This is important. Page rules. If you want to invite somebody else to be an admin, they have to first go and like the page. That was the first thing I mentioned in this video. So they have to like the page and then you can come here and you can add them as an admin. You can choose editor, moderator, advertiser, analyst, any of, the, any of these. Admin is full control. So um, make sure you understand that. Once you type in their name or email, if you type in their name on Facebook, they'll show up or their email address. Um, use their email address that they signed up with in Facebook. In this case, um, usually if you just type their name and they've liked the page, they'll show up automatically, then choose their role and approve it. You will have to put your password in after you click uh, OK. So people and other pages, um, you can look what uh, other pages that are like you. So you can click on different things like this. Preferred page audience, if you want to specifically mention or have your page show up and put your page in front of people who matter to your most in whatever locations, you can edit this. So edit it to include different areas that you work in and age ranges and that way um, it will automatically try to show your page to those people. Uh, apps is if you had an app you wanted to add to your website or anything like that. Um, featured, I would skip Instagram unless you know what that is. Um, there's different things. Uh, add featured page owners, for instance. I can add this as your featured page owner. So that way it also is kind of connected to your personal profile and if you've been using that primarily then this is important so that those people will know as well that you're the main page owner for this. So they can associate you, your personal profile, with the page. If you have support issues you can come here um, and there's also place tips as well. So we want to basically, um, if you want people to, entering the Wi-Fi network name for your business will help your customers see place tips when they visit the network name you provide will not pub publicly be displayed. But it's a good idea to do this so that when they're there, it actually will pop up on their Facebook if they're sitting there um, or they're talking to you or they're in your biz place of business and they're uh, on Facebook, this will pop up. So it's a good thing to have as well. And that's it. So if you have any questions, give us a call. We're happy to help. You can reach us directly at 517-917-0582.
or at, by email at support at yoursitemeetsme.com. Yeah, battle! Yeah!